from the minutely miniature to the large and hairy. There are around 35,000 species of spider around the world, living in almost every habitat. From deserts, to lakes, to trees, to bathrooms. Some of these species can do some pretty cool things, like jumping, skating, catapulting, and cartwheeling. But all spiders have one thing in common. They have eight legs, and they often have eight eyes too. They also have glands in their bottoms called spinnerets, which they use to make silk for catching and wrapping prey, and for building their homes. Many are master engineers, able to build one of the most complex structures in the animal kingdom, the spider's web. All this from their butts. We're going to find out all about these creepy critters and put your head in a spin. Wild Bites Spiders Spiders belong to a family called the Arachnids, and unlike us, their skeleton is on the outside of their bodies, an exoskeleton. This ingenious hard covering forms a strong protective shield against attackers and adverse weather conditions. Spiders have no bones at all, but inside this exoskeleton, their organs are all beautifully protected. Crunchy on the outside, smooth on the inside. Every once in a while, they have to molt, a bit like a dog. But instead of just losing their hair, they shed their entire exoskeleton. Underneath, there's a brand new one, but it does take a little while to toughen up. The smallest spiders are less than a millimetre long, but the largest is one of the infamous and somewhat sinister tarantula family. All the way from South America, it's the Goliath Bird Eater. Yes, I did say Bird Eater. Not only is this spider massive, the biggest ever recorded, but it's been known to eat, you guessed it, birds. This bird-eating spider may have a pretty lethal bite, if you're a bird, but its venom does not affect humans, thankfully. However, if you were bitten by a Brazilian wandering spider, you might be in trouble. They have a bite that can kill a fully grown adult in just one hour, and they are even more lethal to children. Closer to home, well, for viewers in Australia at least, is the red back spider, which is often found lurking under toilet seats or in dark corners of the house. Although bites can happen, deaths are fortunately rare due to an effective anti-venom, but it's good to always look before you sit on the loo. Not all spiders are this fearsome. Most are more concerned with getting away from you than getting you. Some arachnids can run at almost two miles an hour, which doesn't sound that fast, but if this spider was as big as you, it would be running at 140 miles per hour. That's as fast as a sports car. But spiders don't just run to get around, they have other methods of travel too. This wheel spider likes the cartwheel from A to B. And if this jumping spider needs a change of scenery, she's out of here in one massive leap. But when spiders are not on the move, they mostly hang out at home. Literally. Strength for strength, spider silk is five times tougher than steel, so webs are pretty sturdy structures. Most spiders use their thread to build webs, although some spiders prefer to live in silk-lined tunnels underground. Most of us think of spiders as black or brown creepy crawlies, but just look at this colourful peacock spider. This flamboyant dancer has the moves to impress, but this female might just be his toughest ever critic. She eyes up her try-hard suitor. If it's a thumbs up, he just got lucky. If not, less so. Unfortunately, this peacock's Paso Doble isn't up to scratch. Unimpressed with this poser's performance, she decides to take her would-be suitor out of the gene pool permanently. She injects her lethal venom right into her date's brain. Top tip, spider dating is not for the faint-hearted. Whether you are arachnophobic or not, you have to hand it to these feisty little beasts. With all their amazing powers, it's no wonder they inspired a superhero. And it's no wonder spiders are so successful all around the planet. They are definitely some of the world's most incredible creatures. 